Well, this week we have homework help for students and a chance to have lunch at the fire station. There's a fall color walk happening and a couple of events to help you get ready for Halloween. All that and more this week in Westland. started up last month and everyone has hopefully settled into their new routines. With new classes, friends, and activities, students have a lot going on at the beginning of the school year. That's why it's so important to make sure they keep up with their schoolwork and don't get behind early in the year. If you have a student who needs a little extra help, the Jefferson Barnes Learning Lab offers free in-person tutoring. Mondays through Thursdays from 3 to 6 p.m., they have skilled and qualified tutors and staff to help kids with their studies. The tutoring takes place at Jefferson Barnes Center, and you can register online by going to jbllnorwayne.com. The Wesleyan Historic Village Park is helping you get ready for Halloween with their fifth annual haunted yard sale. On Saturday from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m., you will be able to shop for unique one-of-the-kind handcraft items to get you and your home in the spooky spirit of the season. There will be vendors offering lawn decorations, home goods, costumes, and all sorts of fun items. The sale takes place at the Perrinville School, which is located at 31755 Cowan Road. You can get all the details by going to the Westland Historic Village Park Facebook page. To kick off Fire Prevention Week in the city of Westland, the fire department is opening up Fire Station 1 to visitors. From 11 a.m. until 2 p.m., they will be having an open house for the community. There will be a free hot dog lunch along with tours of the station. Kids can play in a bounce house and go through the smokehouse trailer and even spray water out of the fire engine. Of course, there'll be a plenty of free fire education materials to hand out as well. So come on down to Fire Station 1 at 37501 Central City Parkway to join in the fun. Also on Saturday, the Holiday Nature Preserve Association is hosting their first fall color walk of the season. You are invited to join them at the Kaepernick section of the preserve for a leisurely walk to enjoy the early fall colors of the forest starting at 10 a.m. After the walk, members of the association will be removing some seed pods to reduce the risk of invasion plants in the area. You don't have to help with the project, but you're welcome to join in. Gloves and tools will be provided. If you want to join in for the walk, the work, or both, meet at the entrance on Copernic Road, south of Joy and west of Hicks Road, Saturday at 10 a.m. Well, as a mom, I know it can be very difficult to spend hard-earned money to buy your kids clothes that they outgrow right away. And then there are the things that they only wear once, like Halloween costumes. Well, if you held on to last year's costume and want to trade it in for something different for your kids this year, head to the Wesleyan Library on Saturday. They're teaming up with Free Foam Art Productions to host a Halloween costume swap from noon to 2 p.m. There is no need to register. Just bring up your old costume that is clean and in good condition and swap it out for another one. Bring one, take one, it's that easy. The library is located at 6123 Central City Parkway, and you can learn more by going to the Westland Library Kids Facebook page. This week on WLND, She Rocks Westland, the special event hosted by the Westland DEI Department recognized the accomplishments and contribution of some amazing women of Westland. Our last item for this week is for the art lovers out there. There is a new exhibit at the display in the gallery at City Hall. Through a partnership with Three Cities Art Club, 
new works adorn the walls of the gallery, giving local artists exposure and an ever-changing backdrop for the visitors at City Hall. On display now is the fall member exhibit featuring works from three city's artists. To learn more about the organization and how you can join them, please visit threecitiesartclub.org. The gallery is open during regular business hours and is always free to view the artwork. Once you enter City Hall, the gallery is just to the left of the main lobby. Well, that brings this episode to a close. If you have missed a date or time for any of our events, go to our website at cityofwestland.com for a complete list of what's happening around town. You can also check out our socials to get up to the minute news, information, and content. We can be found on Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Thanks for watching and be kind to one another.